I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got to find the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. So you see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. EP high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches. If you guys are looking to get a stacked NBA 2K account or to get your badges grinded, make sure to hit up Goat Plug on Instagram. His link will be in the description. Yo, what's up with YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back in the video with yet another video. And today I'm coming to you guys with yet another banger lit video. And today I'm coming to you guys with a new series called Build Wars. And we know I'll be going crazy with the best builds in the game. So it's only right that I put these builds against each other. So yeah, for the first Build Wars, it's going to be the two-way slashing playmaker versus the inside-out playmaker. These are two of the most popular builds in the game, especially if you use an offensive threat. But my very favorite version of the offensive threat is, you know, the inside-out playmaker. But yeah, with that being said, what I'm going to be doing for this series, I'm going to be matching builds up against each other. For, mo for what I want to do for these vids is play 99 overall versus 99 overall you know people they upload videos of like nba player builds so i can probably do like some nba player versus nba player type videos too so we got if you guys want this build war series to continue i need you guys to show the support because if i'm gonna be grinding to 99 i would need you to understand that is a grind like if i'm grinding all these builds to 99 and then showing you guys video of which one is better i'm gonna need you guys to show the support so I can know that you guys want it. Because if you guys if you guys not showing the support on it, I'm not gonna waste my time and grind all these builds just for the content. You know what I'm saying? Just for the content, especially if it's not getting the support it deserves. But yeah, um, without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, so for the first video, I'm gonna be using the builds that I have. Now, so the first build that we're gonna be going over is the two-way slash and playmaker. I'm not gonna show you guys how to make it. I've already done a video on what's the best version. But with that being said, I made this. This was my starting build. This is literally the first build I made for 2K20. This was the first build I made. I was in the stream and one of my one of y'all subs, y'all hit me up telling me about the play locks, and this is the build I ended up making. Now, obviously, I made it wrong. Like I didn't put the rebounding up like I probably should have. Um, I probably should have went lower on some of the um, the playmaking. Should have got more stuff here and there. I could have. There's a way to get 61 on mine. I only get 57. But yeah, um, I'm only in 97. I've had this build forever, bro. And the only reason I'm 97 is because I literally just don't play on this build. It's that simple. Now I've been starting to play on it more lately, but between this. The slash and playmaker in my inside i like playing with my inside out the most but we're gonna get into that later but yeah for this video i'm gonna be playing with this 97 overall slash two-way slashing playmaker now for the badges this is gonna be the bad setup i have when it comes to the finishing i'm gonna be using gold consistent finisher gold fancy footwork gold slithery finisher bronze lob city finisher and bronze acrobat for the shooting i'm gonna be this is what i have i can't change it this is what i had at the beginning of the year i haven't really even like i said i haven't played on this building forever and this was like way this was months ago this is like almost in like patch three or something like that so i still i was still using hot start green machine and hot zone hunter. so yeah and then you know i got that gold quick draws just so i can have my jump shot to be fast as possible then when it comes to the badges i got hall of fame diamond hall of fame floor general hall of fame handles for days hall of fame quick first step and then i got my bronze bell out bronze needle third bronze unpluggable and bronze lob city passer then for the defensive badges um is I got Hall of Fame Interceptor, Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Clamps, Bronze Brick Wall, Bronze Chase Down, Bronze Pick Dodger, and Bronze Pickpocket. So this is what I use for this build because I only have 16 badges now. What people have now for the better one, they get 20. So you would get four more badges. So you could put on, especially for a build like this that have no rebounding, rebound chasers will help tremendously. But yeah, um, this is one of the most popular builds in the game. I'm telling you, bro, literally because you can get defensive badges, Hall of Fame. It's one of the best ISO builds in the game, and I'm going to show you guys how to how I use it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. All right, so getting to it straight early and often. You see, I got the ball starting the game off. 
my dude, the dude that's guarding me, he literally could not guard me. But right there, he gets, he plays pretty good defense right there. But I'm gonna pass it to get a, a reset. My boy Dizzle, I'm gonna have my guy Dizzle's link in the description. He's another YouTuber I was playing with this day. But yeah, you see, I get the park layup jelly, and I get the lucky animation, and I get the first bucket to go. Now that's low key consistent finisher. Consistent finisher, I'm telling, I'm telling y'all, it's the best layup badge in the game. I might have a whole video for that alone coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned. A lot more badge videos, personal badge videos going on coming soon. I'm going to try to get y'all some more gameplay. Y'all been begging for gameplay, so yeah, that's why I'm starting this series. But yeah, 2-2. Two two. You see, it's already 2-2. Two two. The way they guard me, they playing bad because I'm a two-way slashing. But yeah, you see, I'm going to hit them with a hop. Steezy is an easy two. It's that simple. It's that simple. 4-2. to two. Now... When it comes to this build, what makes it really set it off is that I really like to be able to play full court on this game, especially with how hard it is for people to dribble. They just want to be able to hezzy or speed boost, get up the court as fast as possible and just hop step. I don't want to even allow them to even get into any type of dribble moves, none of that, hop steps, none of that. So yeah, right there, you see, I got that Jordan dunk package on, so you know he's skying. It's that simple, six to two, it's that simple. But yeah, we back on defense. They already getting the ball out my man's hand. So if I'm making my man pass the ball, give it the ball, he and he the point guard, he's like the main scorer, that's a W right there for me. But you see, I'm getting the early and off the poster contact dunks. 8-2, to two, we going crazy. We have not missed yet. It's already 8 points on his head, 100% from the field goal. Now, I'm only taking dunks, hop steezies, layups, all the above. I have not taken no shots. I don't have to, if I don't have to take shots, you got to make me shoot. I'm just letting you know, but you got to make me shoot. If I'm on this build, you got to make me shoot. Now, right there, I hit him with a flashy pass behind the back. Green! He's, bro, you get, you can put Hall of Fame Dimer, Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Hall of Fame Floor Drill. You can put almost everything on this. Bro, any playmaking badge, you can get Hall of Fame on this build, bro. And that's very OP, too. That's one thing that's underrated on this build, bro. I'm telling you, people don't really, the difference between these two builds, I don't, the other build doesn't get Hall of Fame quick for a step. And that's going to be a big deal. But I'm going to get into that a little bit later. But, yeah, you see my man Dizzle gets the easy dunk. 12-4. to 4. Now, I'm not going to lie and say these dudes that we playing are crazy good. But for the game, this is strictly for the game purpose to just show off, showcase how good the build really is. What it can be at its best point. So, yeah, you see 12 points. I still got 8 points. I need, like, one bucket for takeover. So, yeah, 12-4. to 4. I was finna snatch dude, but you see, he not even letting me do a dribble move. He just got into my body and started reaching. That's what I don't do on this build. I don't like to reach too much because, I don't know, I feel like it messes up my takeover. And I, I'm not an elite one, so if I don't have elite one, that takeover boost is not going to make a big difference to me. So yeah, I'm going to hit him with a little step back, I guess. But yeah, he lets me get a park dunk off. I don't know what type of defense he was playing, but he was just holding X at that point. He wasn't even tapping. He was just holding X. But yeah. 14 to 4. He is us with a hop step. And it was easy. It's that simple. 6 to 14. Now, we back on deep on offense. I had my slasher takeover. I wanted to get a contact dunk, but I hop step strictly so that in case the dude that's sitting paint literally just stands there. So if he stands there, I'm hitting my man. But he airballed. So yeah, we still got the ball back. Somehow I got the board with a 48 rebound. It kind of just fell into my hands. But this man is not playing with me. He does not want me to score. He's literally just reaching on me. So, yeah, with that being said, it's still 6-14, to 14, 14 on the shot clock. I have my takeover. He's not trying to let me score. I'm trying to take it back because you know what time it is. I'm trying to get a contact every single time. I look you could have hit Dizzle. I'm not going to lie. Sorry, Dizzle, but you know I had to get that clip. It's an easy contact dunk poster, whatever you want to call it, 6-16. Six to 16. When you get that slasher takeover on this build, it don't even matter that you don't have the Hall of Fame finishing badges. You might as well be a pure slasher, but you're dunking on everybody every single time. Now, right there, Dizzle tried to hit me with the lob, but that's not a big deal. We're going to keep it moving 6 to 8, 16 to 8. Now, one of the main things or most fun things about this build to me is when you ISO it, I like to be able to guard the person. I don't like to have to switch or put somebody else on my man. So with this build, you can guard the person every single time, like no matter what. Like you're going to have the defensive badges, Hall of Fame. So like you're going to be able to stick that man no matter what you're going against, to be honest. But yeah, you see right there, Dizzle, he hits me with a clean lob. Now, I low-key just reacted late to that, but trust me, trust me, I know. Now, right there, I have no explanation for what that was. Uh, I think Dizzle's trying to throw me a lob right there, but that was nasty. That was that one was crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. That one was crazy. 20 to 8. That one was crazy. 
that one was crazy. So this game, all in this game alone, bro, I've already got like two or three contact dunks and I'm getting three lives. Like that last one's the Jordan kill Gannon, like both hands in the rim. Like that's crazy. But yeah, two-way slash and playmaker is more, that's probably the most popular build in the game right now for a reason. Now, what I just showed you guys was pretty much just me either rim running, hop stepping, catching lobs. You can do all that at a very high rate. Now, if people are making you shoot, you can definitely shoot with it. I showed you guys what my three-pointer was at 70, or not 70, but 97 overall. I had a 71 three-pointer, and those are those are greens. It's that simple, it's greens. If they make me shoot, I'm greening. Now, I'm only gonna shoot one or two threes a game because that's the only time they gonna literally make me shoot because you're not gonna make me shoot seven times. Now, if I'm shooting two greens in a row, I will shoot it every single time as long as i got green machine going it's straight greens it's nothing else nothing but it's that simple but yeah this was the two-way slashing playmaker before we come to a consensus or a verdict let's go ahead and go into the inside out playmaker all right for the inside out playmaker now on the two-way slashing playmaker we was a 97 and we was going crazy for the inside out playmaker though we are 99 now at 99 i don't believe i'm at 99.9 because .9 i don't have an 87 driving dunk i don't believe i don't remember do, do, i think i believe i believe i'm not even at a uh, 99 i think these are the stats for if you're at 98 i believe from the look of it but the close shot is a 94, so I have to be at 99. I can't be at 99.9 .9 or 98 because I have a 94 close shot. I guess I have an 82 driving duck. I believe I had an 82 driving duck and it went up plus four. But yeah, I'm at 99. I'm not at 99.9. .9. I play rec a lot on this build. So when you play rec, it's very, very hard to maintain that 99.9, .9, especially if you're not playing that doing that method i showed you guys i'm not using my own method bro i literally i bro i bro, i get bored of my career so fast that i literally haven't even been playing my career at all but if you just go to my career you can easily keep your 99.9 .9, easily just keep playing that pro five minute quarters and you'll be straight but yeah you see my three is at oh, above at 85 so i get that good threshold for the green green um i can't even think of the word but you know what I mean, like the green light, it's like a green light window, green window, that's what it is. But yeah, you get an 86 driving dunk, so you do get the contact dunks, an 89 ball handle, 94 speed. Now, this is on my 6'3 inside out playmaker. This is not on my 6'5, this is on my 6'3 inside out playmaker. But with that being said, it's a very all around build. Now, the things that it's kind of low is the defense. You don't have the craziest perimeter defense, lateral quickness, steal or the defensive rebound now when it came to the badges i got 16 out of 16 on the badges i got all my badges max all these joints max so i went hall of fame slithery hall of fame consistent hall of fame f contact finisher and hall of fame fancy footwork for the shooting now i kind of switch it up here and there sometimes sometimes i go hall of fame volume shooter sometimes i go hall of fame hot zone hot start sometimes i go hall of fame data it depends on what i'm going with or sometimes i go with silver corner specialist i used to go over that all the time silver corner specialist is the best or like the best bang for your buck for corner specialist because it's like 2k lab did a whole thing on that i'm gonna let you watch that video for that but for this video purposes um i'm gonna go hall of fame green machine hall of fame quick draw hall of fame range extender hall of fame high zone hunter and hall of fame volume shooter and then for the playmaking badges i went gold floor general gold handles for days gold quick first step silver dimer silver tight handles and silver space creator now a lot of people are probably gonna be like why aren't you using why aren't you using ankle breaker i don't use ankle breaker because it's not it's not consistent for me when I'm going for ankle breakers, I'm literally, only time I snatch back really is if I have takeover. And that's like to get the, uh, make people fall. And that's pretty much the best move to make people fall. So that's the only reason I really even use snatch backs. So tight handles, it helps me, it's worked better for me. I've, I was using the ankle breaker for over a month and I wasn't seeing no improvement on the uh, ankles. Now, in my opinion, the best ankle breaker badge in the game is space creator still. But people still say that ankle breaker is the best badge to take ankles in the game. If you believe that, that's on you. But for me, in my experience, from my experience, I like tank handles and the combination of space creator more. But yeah, like I said, go quick first step. That's you cannot. One thing that sets this build, these two builds apart, is that one build can't get Hall of Fame finishing, one build can't get Hall of Fame playmaking. 
And I guess they both can't get, I mean, this one gets Hall of Fame shooting, the other one gets Hall of Fame defensive. But like, the other build really not supposed to really be shooting, but it's sticking crazy defense. This build isn't really supposed to be sticking defense, but it got good shooting. So it really depends on what you really rather, the playmaking Hall of Fame or the finishing Hall of Fame. And on the other one, I feel like it does very well without the finishing being Hall of Fame. Now, when it comes to the defensive badges, now the defensive badges, I only got six of these joints to work with, but I have to have Interceptor and I have to have Chase Down Artist. So I'll go with Bronze, Chase Down Artist, Bronze, Interceptor. Sometimes I put Pick Dot Drone just to be able to have that park badge, but since I only have six, I just use Interceptor, Silver, Intimidator, and Silver Clamps. All right, getting to it early and often. We're just not going even have the ball first. Now, in the other gameplay, I was playing threes with a YouTuber named Dizzle. This one, I'm just gonna be playing twos. Now, first things first, it's a green. Now, I did, I used this gameplay, I believe, in my Joe Knows video, and I'm gonna use this joint again. This is literally me using me my inside out playmaker, and I'm showing you guys that it can shoot, it can drive, it can do pretty much anything you really need it to do. It can speed boost, it can shoot the biggest greens, it can do all the above, it's that simple. Now, when it comes to this build, bro, it's one of the hardest to guard ISO builds in the game because you got to stop it from going to the rim. You got to stop it from being able to shoot. You got to stop it from being able to dribble. It literally, like, the way you have to guard it, compared, especially when it comes to the way this game is played, the way this game is played, you got people that like to rim run, hop step. You got people that like to, that used to, what people used to do was spam behind the, behind the back and just go side to side with it on the three-point line. People don't do that no more. They pretty much just all just make taller builds, have locked down badges, and just run, run with hop steps. But if you make an inside out playmaker a little bit taller than what I have, like the one I, uh, I made in my update one, you'll be pretty good. Now, with that being said, bro, I don't, I'm talking over it, but don't get confused. I'm shooting nothing but the biggest greens is that simple 15 to 0 this game is going by extremely fast way faster than a two-way slashing so as you can see it's way easier to score because you can just shoot greens when you can shoot threes threes are faster you like you know what i'm saying when you're going for dunks every time the game gonna take longer when you take threes the game goes by way slower now right there i believe i was going for like a ankle breaker or something but yeah i hit my dude in the back door i still get my takeover so yeah 17 to 0 still i don't know really what's going on but the defense is not the best you know what i'm saying the defense is not the craziest but yeah i don't know what dude really on but he was not getting in front of me at all but yeah right here i'm definitely just going for his ankles like literally the whole shot clock going down and everything now right there i don't know what that defender was doing in the paint but that's an easy dunk. I'm not even going to say nothing else. That was an easy dunk. Now, I'm not going to say the people that we playing are the best. I'm not saying that. But when it comes to what is the best, this build, obviously, you will, you will be way more comfortable shooting threes. So if people if people give you a little bit of space, you pull it. Because you get Hall of Fame quick draw. You can put Hall of Fame dead eye. You can put a lot of these other badges on. But the way I use it, I use Hall of Fame volume shooter. So if I shoot whites, they go in. It's the best badge, in my opinion to shoot whites i got a video for that tomorrow but i'm not gonna say what it is you just have to wait and see but yeah 19 0 right there he fouls me um this game is going by way faster than the other one this one i'm already three minutes in and it's already 19 to 0 the other one was six minutes long easy but yeah right there i'm getting around my man easy there's nothing they can do because how fast i am how easy i can shoot and how easily i can go to the paint this is probably the better offensive all around from the point that it can get contact dust it can finish at the rim it can shoot it got midi it can it can shoot better now but it doesn't the only thing that kind of like balances it out is the other bill gets hall of fame quick first step this one does not the other one gets hall of fame defensive badges this is not even a even like a considerable defensive bill so it really just depends on what you rather what do i think is better for what people are trying to do right now especially at the end of the year i would say the two-way slashing playmaker is better because of people what people want to do is they want to iso you have a big man that can shoot a rebounding wing a glass can lock 
and they just want to hop step you the whole game. If they got somebody that to make you just be able to go one on one where they can just pretty much finish on the little on a guard every single time, that's what they'll do. But yeah, for what people are trying to do, that's what that's what I believe is the best. Now, with that being said, bro, I know that um in the back in the gameplay there was like snow and stuff. I know that they updated the parks, but this is obviously older gameplay, but with that being said, bro, if you guys, like I said, bro, if you guys want a part two of the Build Wars, you gotta spam with the likes. I need to, I need to see the support. I need to see all the stuff support. So yeah, man, like I said, please leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed, subscribe. You man, we got more videos coming out every single day, man. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. And I'm about to be man. Head in the clouds, walk to the city, they taking you out. They just be talking, they running, they bout. A bag in the back and a stick in the couch. You know what it's about. Uh -huh. Had to cope with all the pain, so I'm about to die. Amen. Uh -huh. They say he going too fast. Someone gotta stop him.